What is going on you guys? How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys may be. Uh, if you guys can't already tell, I may sound a bit groggy and look a bit groggy throughout the duration of this video, and that's just because I actually came down with the flu a few days ago. So I'm kind of sick right now, just getting over that, but hey, gotta upload a video, right? So, as you guys could tell by the title, my car is leaking a ton of coolant right now and it really sucks. Let me just pan the camera around and show you what exactly the problem is with my BMW 335 and what I'm going to do to hopefully fix this issue. All right, let's get right into the video. So if you guys watch my videos on a regular basis, you guys will know that normally this section of the garage is reserved for my car. This is where I park it at the house and obviously it's not here right now. As you guys can see, there's a massive stain right here on the cement, and that is from dried up coolant, essentially. There was a massive puddle of coolant right next to my car that was leaking out, and I can't keep the car parked right now in the garage, obviously, because I don't want any more coolant leaking onto the ground and damaging the cement. So moving on over, I've got my car parked out front, unfortunately. I have to leave it outside, simply due to the fact, like I said, coolant is leaking from the front right of the car and it's coming from the front right because that's generally where the water pump system and the coolant lines and the reservoir and all that kind of stuff are located on the front passenger side of the engine so if coolant leaks are going to happen most likely you're going to be seeing it come from this side of the engine now let me pop the hood and just show you guys what exactly is going wrong with this so basically the culprit and the cause of my coolant leak is due to the coolant expansion tank, which is this right here. And basically what this tank allows you to do is it allows the coolant to sort of expand and retract under high temperatures and pressures. Um, and when the coolant is pressurized, you know, this tank is kind of what keeps everything running together smoothly. However, over time, it's plastic in good old BMW fashion. And with a lot of pressure, with a lot of temperature changes, it is very prone to cracking. And as you guys can see all around here, basically around this kind of um, slit, that goes around the tank itself, it cracked open and that's where all the coolant was leaking up. And I'll go ahead and play a snippet of when it was actually leaking the night that I found the leak um, right now. So as you guys can see, this is, today I noticed that obviously that there was a massive puddle of coolant on my car and I had no idea where it was coming from. Check the expansion tank, didn't look like it was cracked, I thought it may have been a hose or something. Turns out it's the tank itself. And as you guys can see it's dripping right now. I just drove the car gently, took it around the block, warmed it up a little bit, and that was the root of the cause. What I did too, it's, it's too dark outside as you can see guys, but what I also did was turn the wheel and just check the underpan tray to see if I could find anything and I did see coolant, popped the hood open again, Looked up, I started noticing more coolant dripping, found out it's the expansion tank. So I'm gonna make a full, I'll incorporate this clip into the full video, you guys. So as you guys can see, as a temporary fix, I kinda like really did a bad job and I tried to JB weld as best as I can the leaks because I still need to drive the car, obviously. And it's been working decently so far um, until I get the new tank. But yeah, guys, this is the cause of all the coolant leaks is this freaking expansion tank thankfully it's a cheap part it's 50 bucks and it's a really easy replacement it's not that hard to replace this whole tank so for a lot of you guys that are kind of amateurs when it comes to DIYing a lot of things and diagnosing issues such as myself one thing that's very important to note is that with the coolant leaks and kind of finding the coolant leaks at least with the expansion tank it doesn't leak when the car is cold and the car is turned off. It No coolant is leaking out. You have to turn the car on, drive the car, warm it up, and get the coolant system to pressurize and heat up in order to kind of see that weak spot exposed on the expansion tank and to see the coolant dripping out actually. So just a heads up, if you guys ever find coolant dripping on your car, you know, you may want to kind of drive it around for a very brief period of time and warm up the coolant and the pressure system just to see if you can locate where that leak is. Now, the expansion tank, like I said, is 50 bucks. It's a pretty easy replacement. I'm gonna be doing a DIY on this video, but there's a lot of other great DIYs out there. For example, Nur Hamadi, I believe he had the same issue as well with his BMW 330i. He replaced the expansion tank. It's a very common part to go wrong on these cars. 
And yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but whatever. It's a high performance car, 120,000 miles on mine specifically. So, you know, things are gonna things are gonna break and they're gonna go wrong. So just kind of have to anticipate it. So the brand new expansion tank that I ordered, I ordered off of fcpeuro.com. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. One thing that's really cool about FCP Euro and BMW Fanatic also recommends to go with them as well is not only do they have great shipping and customer service and all the parts that you need for your European car, they also have a lifetime guarantee replacement on every single one of their parts that they sell on their website. So it's really cool. You kind of have that peace of mind as well when you're ordering new parts and stuff off there and you can save a lot of money um, with going through them as well. But anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video today. I apologize. It was a bit of a short video and I haven't uploaded uh, in the past couple of days. That's just because I've been sick and just trying to heal up and recover from all that. It really sucks that this happened to my car as well, kind of at the same time. Just my luck, I guess. But oh well, you know, it happens. Just kind of have to get through it, pick up and move on. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys found this video informative or helpful, please subscribe to my channel as well as give the video a thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for the DIY. I'll be replacing all that stuff soon and kind of vlogging that whole experience as well. Hopefully it'll go smoothly without any problems. And with all that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, everyone.